Football season is here. I'm Ryan Aber, joined by Jason Kersey. And Jason, we got a chance to check out OU's practice today for the 30-minute uh, window and uh, got to see a couple interesting things, nothing too overwhelming. But uh, what was your top impression from what we saw? Well, the first thing, you know, is the first time we've seen Frank Shannon uh, since he's been gone. And, uh, you know, we saw Joe Mixon in the spring, so that wasn't quite as surprising. But seeing Frank Shannon out there again, he looks really big. And, and you know, so it would be interesting to see how he carries that weight. He, he really looks like he's bulked up a lot. Uh, and they're going to need him to play a lot this year, I think, at linebacker. So uh, that was kind of the thing that stood out to me the most uh, of the little bit we get to see. Yeah, to me, there's been so much talk about the quarterbacks this year, but linebacker is going to be really interesting to watch because you've got the re-addition of Frank Shannon. You've got Dominique Alexander and Jordan Evans in the middle, and obviously uh, Devontae Bond and Eric Stryker uh, on the outside. But the way they use linebackers, how much are those guys, especially in the middle, are going to get a chance to play, and who's going to win that job between uh, Shannon, Alexander, and Evans? Yeah, and I, you know, I think a lot of it depends on the alignment that they line up in. If they line up with three three defensive linemen and, and four linebackers and you know more of them would get to play obviously so uh, that's all going to be very interesting to follow uh, it sounds like they're really making a move uh, at least part of the time back to the the four-man front um, and if they do that you know I, I I've got to believe that Frank Shannon and Jordan Evans would have a little bit of an advantage there just because of their size yeah you would think so for sure and uh, mentioned quarterbacks didn't get to see a whole lot from them today but got to see a little bit of Trevor Knight Cody Thomas and uh, Baker Mayfield out there what was your uh, quick impressions of them I, I don't really have any there wasn't, <laughs> there wasn't a whole lot to see out there uh, we didn't really see him throw all that much so uh, so I, I you know the job is wide open I, I think it's anybody's guess at this point you know we've said for a while that we think Baker Mayfield's uh, in the lead and I, I probably wouldn't back off of that just yet but I would never count out Trevor Knight I mean we saw uh, he emerged from a quarterback battle where everybody thought he was the underdog a couple of years ago and he's obviously a great pra practice player so it wouldn't surprise me at all if he was the guy I would be a little surprised if he was Cody Thomas um, just because he's been kind of the clear third guy but you know who knows I think it's wide open with this offense being sort of a pass first sort of deal where are you confident that the running backs are all going to get your touches uh, we will get touches and also we've been working on blocking and um, throwing touchdowns throwing touchdowns wildcats so you're doing a little bit of everything yeah quarterback quarterback yeah I, I mean I practice like half quarterback throughout the day why don't they just let you call the plays, too? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> you have to ask Coach about that one. <laughs> what haven't you tried? Because um, I think Coach just thinks that I'm better off as, like, a rapper. <laughs> a hip hop, hip hop dancer slash rapper. So between positions and rapping, what out there haven't you tried yet that you want to try? <clears throat> like halftime dancing? Like halftime dance? With the cheerleaders or the palm girls, I can dance way better than Baker. <laughs> it's, it's not even close. There's the base offense, and there's a bunch of variations off of that. So, like I said, if you know the base offense, you can basically do anything you want to do within the offense. He's gonna add a wrinkle here and there, but once you figure it out, you pretty much got it. Uh, I'd say, I mean, we throw so many balls. To be honest, it's about the same. Like, like when when any of them are sitting there, I'm not like, oh, he's throwing it, he's throwing. It doesn't really matter. Like, I don't care if any. I think all three of them could play. It wouldn't make a difference to me personally. They, they all do a good job, so I really wouldn't, I really don't care. You know, there's a ton of athletic receivers. You know, there's a lot of young athletic receivers, and um, you know, I think that's that's going to be something that um, we're going to use. You know, there's a lot of big guys out there going to be able to catch the ball, and um, that's an exciting part about this offense is that we have playmakers, and um, we just got to go make those plays. Is it is it a goal of yours to be you know be kind of a red zone guy, a guy that they can depend on to put the ball up to? You know, I'm definitely a big guy, so. Um, being a red zone type of guy is something that um, you know I look forward to being in that situation, and um, yeah, so I, I definitely want to be um, that type of guy. Nobody spot safe, so you know we come in, we all compete, we all compete to come in uh, and get a starting job, and that just makes it more fun. You know, we hold each other accountable, and you know we stay hard on each other every day. Is that something that's been good for you, having a, having a blank slate, starting over? Uh, yeah, I would say so, and you know. And then also I'm learning on the go as well as everybody else. And, you know, when I do something wrong with my teammates, you know, they help me out. I help them out. So it's just good to, you know, everybody's just all in and, you know, get a chance to help each other out. And also, like I said, we all competing to get out there on that field.